first tutorial, we're going to look at how to build a um, simple, a nice, a nice house. So I'm just going to click and download this so you can see um, the end product, which is what we want to build. I'm going to demonstrate the tool palette to you and the materials and all the various other bits and bobs and how to use objects from within um, Google Warehouse. So this is what I'm looking at building. As you can see, it's a fairly straightforward box, um, possibly two-story, um, nothing inside, um, with a few windows and a staircase. Okay, so I'm going to click, and I'm using SketchUp for schools for this. So I'm going to choose New, and off we go. Start off with a rectangle on the ground. This is going to be the floor plan for our house. So, okay, so we've drawn a rectangle on the ground. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to see there with a trackpad. I can use my trackpad or a mouse to zoom, two fingers on the trackpad to zoom in and out. Okay, so you can see the floor plan, you can see how big it is compared with the man. I'm going to drag this up. Okay, what I can do, I've dragged that up using this um, this tool here, which is called the push pull tool. I've drawn a rectangle with the one above it. Yeah, I can push this and pull this to whatever size I want. It's quite unique in how quickly and easy you can put an object together. And I'm going to choose. This bottom tool here. So I'm on the bottom one here, which is the orbit tool. But if I choose the bottom one, it takes me back to um, fit everything in the window. Okay, so we have a building. Okay, we're going to put a staircase next to this building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on the front a rectangle using the rectangle tool. I'm going to draw where I want my top step to be. And I'm going to put this around about there. Okay, so sort of in the center. It's not too bad, but again, I can show you how we're going to do this. I'm now going to drag this bit out from the front. Okay, Oops. there we go. Now what I'm going to do, so I'm carving staircase into the side of this building okay so what I'm going to do next is start and make the stairs so the easiest way of doing this if I draw a rectangle on this corner on here like so I can then use a push pull to remove material as well as a pad so I'll do this on the other staircase I can push that back for my top step. Or and I can go along this that way. Or I can simply draw lines with a pencil tool. And I'm using the red line as my guide. This well, I'm going to call this the x-axis. So when I click on this edge, if I drag down, you can see it's snapping to the edge, but it's also snapping to the um, red axis. And if I was to go this way, it would snap to the green axis, in this case the y axis, or the z axis, depending on how you want to look at it. But we'll carry on and put some more steps in like so. Now it doesn't matter necessarily where they where they are at the moment, because again we're going to use a push-pull tool, this tool here, to bring these up and down. So we've got the first step, coming down, Okay, and there's the stairs. What I need to do now is make this hollow. I'm going to turn this into, and we're trying to turn this into into a building. But of course, nobody can live to us in a solid shape. So the easiest thing to do would be to take a rectangle, and on top, so I'm roughly on top. We can use um, there, there is more specific tools, but again, just for this. 
nice and nice and easy. I'm going to draw on top a box like so. Okay, um, orbit around again, and I'm going to push this down to the bottom. And we can go all the way to the bottom, but I'm going to leave a little bit of space at the bottom for sort of a floor. Okay, so push pull, pushing this down. I'm going to push this down, 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 across the bottom. Let's bring it up a little bit. Okay. So we now have a box with a staircase going up to a box, but there's nothing on the front. There's no door or anything like that. So for the purpose of this, I'm going to again choose. I'm just going to rotate that around and make sure we are sort of, I'd say we're in the center there. Let's choose a rectangle again. On here, and put a nice big glass entrance. Now, for this, I'm going to push this through like so. And if it stays on face and it goes this dotty shape like that, you'll see that it has gone all the way through. Okay, so I've got that basic shape there. And now we're going to add some windows down this side. So if I drag this around, put a window in like that. What I can do, if I get this, hold down the shift key, this, this, and this, I can go Command C, Command V, and paste these in next to it. I've got my windows. I have space in my house. Might have been better to rotate this, but there we go. Now I'm going to rotate these around so I can see what I'm doing. So this is not, not quite straight, but again, I've got this beautiful tool here, the push pull tool, where we can push these through. One, two, three. And what I can do now, I can drag that up a little bit so it's in line. Rotate that around, yeah, and push these so they're a little bit more in line. Okay, okay, so that's the basic shape of the house. Um, we need to add some windows. So, for this, the easiest thing to do, and this is where I'm going to introduce you to the materials palette, if I click on the square and I click and draw. Let's shape back in, like so, using the rectangle tool. If I now click on this, I can go to the paint bucket tool, and I should have, if I click on this side, have all these different materials. I've got pillars, I've got metals, roofing stone, water. I'm going to choose glass and mirrors. Okay, and come down to one of these, maybe blue glass, and once I've clicked on that, I go back with the paint bucket and drop it onto the material. And there you can see that this is now a transparent. Okay, I'll repeat that. Okay, and now all it leaves me to do in terms of windows is draw in the door. So I'm going to do here one. So, and repeat this process, dwelling like this. What I can do at this point, if I want to, um, it's, the building is white, but not only have we got the glass materials, we've also got bricks and cladding and all sorts of other things. If I wanted to make this into a stone house or other things, I can simply click and choose different materials. And we'll go all the way around. This stone is quite nice, so we will click and make it out of stone. So all this leaves me now to do is put a roof on and maybe add a tree from the warehouse. So what I'm going to do is draw a rectangle on the floor, pull this up so I've got a rectangle, but then I'm going to use the marquee tool 
select all of it like so, and then if I use the Move tool, which is one, two, three, four tools up, click on the Move tool, and then I'm going to move this, but I'm going to use, this is where it gets a little bit strange, I'm going to use the, um, the blue cursor, I'm going to get it to follow that, so it's not floating around in space, I'm going to click somewhere near the blue, blue axis, and then I can simply drag like so. Then I'm going to click again near the red axis and drag it across. So you can see where it is in terms of position. Click on the green axis, drag it across, back on the blue axis to get it to go on top. And I think I might need to orbit around a little bit to make sure it's going in the right direction. So back on the move tool, and I'm just going to move across a little bit here, this way. And so all it leaves now, we're going to add a tree from the warehouse. Um, so where do we? Where, what am I talking about in terms of the Google warehouse? Well, the warehouse is lots and lots of things that other people have drawn in the past. Now I believe if I click down here, there we go, on these three squares components, I can search within the 3D warehouse. Okay. If you click all of these and they go blue, it means that all the tool palette is active, and I'll show you a little bit more about that later on. But 3D Warehouse, I'm going to type in tree, and we'll search for a tree. You can see there's a few trees in here. Um, I'm going to choose quite a small one um, in, in terms of size. Yeah, 149K, 0.1 megabytes. Click on that. And it downloads a tree and drops it into the model. Okay. So now I've got a house and a tree. I can, if I want to, if I think this tree is not big enough and needs to grow a little bit, click on the move tool. Now the move tool's got several different component parts. It's got a move, it has a rotate, and it has a um, scale. Now the scale is great. We've got these dots. We can drag it around, click on the corners to scale it in proportion, like so. So that's a nice little tool for doing that. Okay. So tree in front of the building, like so. And just for the final touch, if I now go down and I'm not quite sure where it is, I click on display, um, which is the, the glasses. I come down here. I can turn the shadows on. I think so. It's a beautiful. So I've got a shadow that's casting from the front over the trees. The trees on the house, and I can change the time of day. So I've got a morning sun going across. I can even change when where the sun is in the sky based on the calendar year. So this is the first of May. And we've got the sun quite high in the sky, whereas in winter, as we broach into into February and January, the sun is lower down. So let's the date today. We're in September, so let's move it to September, and it's about there. I think it's done. September the tenth. Beautiful. So that is it. I'm just going to click on the hand to bring this into the center like so, and click on the magnifier to see all of it, and click, give it a name. Um, I've got some SketchUp models, and there we go, and we're going to have a nice house version. version 2. Save. Okay. And that is how we draw a basic house, first house in Google SketchUp. Thank you very much indeed. Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought of that and um, what you might do differently or what might make things easier for other students who are looking at this.